the heck is up everybody let me show you my experience at the whisper and budget gear but to get to where i'm at right now the fastest way to be to use the lasar teleport then run from ice mountain if you're not on ancients use a combat bracelet to the monastery and then just run over and i'll throw up snips of the fastest routes here but i am in budget gear for this i was able to take her down on ancient magics with ice barrage in Mystics, uh, Seer's Helm, Book of Darkness, and an Occult Necklace, along with Infinity Boots. You do need to bring a bow of some sort. I would just recommend a Magic Short Bow, Amethyst Arrows, for one of the transition phases. And you do need to have the Blackstone Fragment in your inventory, which is essential for the three transition phases of the boss fight. But getting into it, I'm potting up with my... I brought a Magic Potion, Stamina Potion... I think three prayer, no prayer potions is more than enough. You could probably get away with two and then some really good food. Starting off, just activate your mage prayer. And then, yep, I already messed up in the beginning of this fight. But that's good because I got it out of the way first of being sloppy. But she attacks with three attacks first, then releases tentacles after her third attack. So just focus on whatever attack she's using on you first. Make sure you're protecting from that, then attack, and after the third attack, move. And then just rinse and repeat for the first phase. Pretty easy, starts off slow. Don't get carried away once it starts picking up. Just remain calm, cool, collected, rinse and repeat. Three attacks, tentacles come out, move. Switch your prey. Still on mage, so mage, 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 attack, move. Attack, another three, range, 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 tentacles move another attack now this is the first transition with the pillars you activate the blackstone fragment when you see this move to the pillar with the lowest health stand behind it wait for it to release the attack move to the pillar with the next highest health move to that one then the one with the highest health for the third one you move behind that and make sure you freeze her because she's going to try to pull you in after each transition phase you should be able to get off a barrage like i did here I don't know why that first one didn't freeze her, but go back to hovering over the next prayer. Yep, it's gonna go two attacks, then the opposite one for the third. So we got range, range, mage, move with the tentacles. Range, range, mage, move with the tentacles. Then it's gonna go mage, mage, range, move with the tentacles. This is all, okay, second transition, activate Blackstone Fragment. Use your bow on the two ghosts that say Vita. All you have to do is take down the two ghosts that say Vita. It will negate all damage towards you. And then she's going to try to pull you in again here and freeze you. So you have time to get a barrage off. Just move away. Barrage. I kept the distance the whole fight as best as I could. I don't know how she got me here. Just barrage her and move away. And it's going to go mage, mage, range, move. Mage, mage, range, move. Two attacks and the opposite is the third move. Mage, mage, range, move. Speeding up here. Still stay calm, cool, collected. Mage, mage, range, move. Mage, mage, range, move. I guess it's not changing for this one. It's gotta change, right? Mage, mage, range, move. Okay, it's cool. It's the same same style for this one. Alright. Blackstone Fragment, this is our third transition. You stand on all the orbs that are illuminated, and you should be able to walk across them in a pretty good pattern, I guess. Now that I'm watching this back, I wasn't too sloppy about it, but just walk on all the lighted up orbs. And then she's gonna try to pull you in again, so get that barrage off while you can. Run back, probably get another barrage off the freezer. Hover over your overhead prayer. This is where it speeds up, gets spicy. So let's see, we got range, mage, range. Attack, move. Range, mage, range, attack, move. Range, mage, range, attack, move. So it looks like the same first and third attack. Second one's the opposite. Yep, range, mage, range, move. And then once you get her down full health, she does heal up. And then this is where it gets crazy. You just need to attack, pray, switch, move. Attack, pray, switch, move. Attack, pray, switch, move. And it's two attacks each before it switches. 
So I want mage, mage, then it switches to range. Just attack, pray, move. Attack, pray, move. Pretty simple. Um, I think I got lucky there at the end. But yeah, the end, it's two attacks. Then it's two attacks for uh, every attack style before she switches. So after the second attack, just switch to prayer, move. But last phase, attack, pray, move. Attack, pray, move. All right, I just wanted to say thanks to anybody that stopped by and watched this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below in the video. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. Um, just another preference. I know Slayer Music hasn't made a video about leading up to the Whisperer, so I will link in the video that I used that helped me with that. But if you did enjoy this or found this helpful, please leave a like. And I know this was a very crappy commentation on it, but if there's anything I can do to improve any suggestions, please feel free to comment them below. And I'm going to try to upload the mysterious figure fight next, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks again. Take care.